<laughs> hey, babe. What are you up to? Yeah, I'm uh, just uh, you know uh, getting getting baby James ready for bed. Uh, you know, you know they said I uh, I gotta read to him more because uh, otherwise he he's not gonna start speaking in complete sentences. You know. <laughs> oh yeah, and how old's the little guy these days? Oh yeah, he's eleven. But yeah, you know uh, they they said that's normal for uh, you know single Puerto Rican fathers. Mersh, mersh, mersh. Hey, Mersh, what, what are you up to? You wanna you wanna go do a stream or something? <laughs> no, I, Jesus Christ, get get the fuck out of here. God, can you get out of here? I'm, t I'm talking to my boyfriend. Can I get some fucking privacy? God. <laughs> 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 Who's that? <laughs> oh, no one. Anyway, so what are you up to, babe? Like, like, what are you doing? What you thinking about? You know, just, just thinking about how much I want to fucking fight people. Yeah, I want to fight them, kick them, and punch them in the face. <laughs> anyway, I, uh, I gotta let you go, babe. I, uh, I'm flying out to uh, L.A. tomorrow. Gonna go do Kill Tony. Yeah. That Tony Hinchcliffe, he's fucking hilarious, man. I fucking, I fucking love that guy. He's, he's like the funniest guy on the West Coast, you know? <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. I mean, you're like you're like the East Coast Rogan, though. Like, like you're the only one that gives, like, the Rogan bump on the East Coast, though, you know? You're, you're like, totally better than him. <laughs> All right, babe. Well, well I'll, I'll let you go then. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I just, uh, you know, you, you hang up. <laughs> you hang up. You hang up first. <laughs> you're the one that has stuff to do tomorrow. <laughs> you're so naughty. No, you hang up. You hang up, babe. I, you know I can't hang up. You know, you know I'm not strong enough to do that. <sighs> All right, seriously though, I gotta get to bed. Bye. Later, babe. I'm here to kill Tony. Fuck yeah. Hey, this is Red Band, coming to you live from the Road Famous Comedy Store for a brand new episode of Kill Tony, Volume 2. Give it up for Tony Hitchcliffe. Hey. Hi, everybody. Hello. Fuck yeah. What's all happening? Hey, how you doing? Welcome. It's Monday night. We're all here together. Anything can happen. This show is crazy every fucking week. Crazy shit just happened. Over 30 comedians signed up tonight for the chance to do one minute. One minute. So our one and only sponsor eating her own delicious food. It's the great Elise Lane, everybody. She's here. Every week we have a new patriot uh, that keeps us safe. It was originally a guy in a $5,000 suit. And uh, this guy had a $5,000 suit made. And then he said that he got too big for the show. And every week to show him how replaceable he truly is, we just replace him with a different person. Let's do it. Guys, tonight, two of my funniest friends. And so uh, you know how it works. There's comedians stacked up against that wall over there. And uh, they signed up for the chance to do a minute. And if you get picked, wrap it up in a minute. What's up when you hear the sound of a kitty? Aw, that means wrap it up then or else you're going to bring out the angry West Hollywood bear. Hey guys, it's me, Tony Hinchcliffe. Yeah, and here's my buddy, Brian Redband. I'm here, 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 I'm Yes, excellently said, Red Band. And tonight we're joined by my celebrity friend, Louis J. Gomez. Yay! Clap it up. <laughs> Doggy, it's an honor to be here. And uh, I heard somebody here wants to fight. And when he wants to fight, I will fucking fight you. They're just Louis J. Gomez of 37. I will fucking fight you. Yeah, but it's an honor to be here. I fucking love you, Tony. I said so on my podcast. On my podcast, I, Louis J. Gomez, talked about how much I respect Tony Hinchcliffe. Yes, of course you respect me. I am Tony Hinchcliffe. Everybody respects me. I'm fucking great. I write for the fucking roast. Why would you fucking respect me, huh? Yeah, don't they they're gonna take off all the brothers and curses, bro. Thank you, bro. Guys, a very special guest tonight. Our first comedian. All the way from Australia, my beautiful, gorgeous wife, 
Nanette. <laughs> Good day. Ripe. He's bad. No laughing. No laughing or snickering. This is a comedy club. Not the place for jokes and laughter. Ripe. He's terrible. Of being raped by Tony Hinchcliffe. He's a rapist. Yes, he is. Oh, doggy, doggy. I didn't, I didn't know you was a lesbian. I'm not a fucking lesbian. I'm a fucking star, okay? I just, I got washed on Netflix and her special is a fucking milestone in comedy. So I fucking clicked up by marrying her fucking clit, okay? Get off me, God. Yeah, the old dumb dang the old cokehead, you know, sleep around, so you rub him down. He get groupy and everybody get pushed and open the dang dog. That's love for you, though. So, Hannah, I hear you've been dealing with some trolls lately. Doggy, doggy, you dealing with these trolls, too? You dealing with these haters? I got I got this dude in Chicago who won't leave me the fuck alone. Oh, yeah? Who's that? Red Bar? He thinks he's so good. Just because he can just turn on a mic and be... Funny and compelling and interesting for three to nine hours at a time, three to four days a week, for years and years and years. He thinks he's like, he's so good. He's fucking terrible. I'm not a fucking lobster, okay? I'm a pilot. I'm a fucking pilot. Oh, no, doggy. It's not even him. That's my boy. Yo, it's uh, this other dude, Ian Ellis. Crocky, Ian Ellis. He's been making fun of me too. Saying I'm autistic, saying I'm not funny, saying I shouldn't be hailed for what I'm doing because it's jokeless comedy, saying I'm ruining the craft. Fuck him. Oh, yeah, Ian Ellis. I know him. Chicago Open Mic. He used to be on the show a lot. It's all clipped up on Ian Ellis LLC. Yeah, I owe him money. Yeah, I, I, he, I hired him to do the poster for Kill Tony episode 100, and it was going to be fucking big. And then I paid for my fucking Netflix special, and it fucking bombed, and I got fucking washed, and I lost all my money. And now I still owe him like 350 fucking dollars. Doggy, doggy, you got to calm down, man. Like, are you okay? Like, are you new to cursing? What the fuck? Now I'm not new to fucking cursing. I'm just fucking high strung because fucking Nanette won't give me any fucking slop top. <laughs>please i'm gonna urge you today please you know what i'll go this far i'll go this far i'm gonna provide you guys with links let me help the enemy go ahead here i'm gonna give you guys links all the guys you want right here here's that ian ellis fella you guys can please go check out his channel oh he's so good he's so good He's the best. He's uh, unbleached. Oh, no, that's what was that Ross dog guy, right? Ross dog. Who, by the way, anybody that calls themselves anything dog, D-A-W-G in 2019, should have to fucking, who should be fed into a wood chipper. There's Ross dog. Please, I'm posting the link in the chat. I'm urging you to check him out. He needs you guys. He needs the numbers. These guys need your help. Unbleached. Unbleached Radio. This nigga has been around. Talk to me I, not I, I remember Unbleached from, from 2012. This guy's been around a long time. He only has 500 subs. He needs you guys. There's a link to Unbleached's channel. They need you. Guys, they need you. They need somebody. They need anybody. Somebody, for the love of God, go pay attention to these people. Oh my, I can't believe my ears. Hey guys, it's me, Ross Talk. Uh, we're going to make this a two-parter because uh, I haven't seen uh, Luis J. Gomez on Kill Tony yet. 
I, I heard he might fight a guy on a wheelchair. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we're going to talk about that. And, you know, him and Mersh are in love now. And uh, Mersh is tagging everything Lewis says. You know, Lewis says he doesn't live on the internet, but uh, he sure lives on fucking Twitter. Now they're fucking call me around here. <laughs> yeah, go listen to Tim Dillon and, and Nick Mullen trash Lewis J. Gomez for uh, just trying to live off the ONA audience. Uh, so that'll be coming up, I don't know, next week, whenever the fuck we can get a chance to check it out. <clears throat> uh, coming up next, we got we got a tape of Ian Ellis dressed as Hannah Gadsby uh, telling rape jokes about a rape victim. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we, he filmed that right after Nanette came out, or Hannah Gadsby special on the net. And I'll say, of all the people we've pissed off, Hannah Gadsby's fans are actually, like, the best and most mature. Like, uh... Their, their response to us trolling them was just to say, like, hey, I like the real thing more. And uh, they weren't, like, SJ Spurg douchebags about it. Uh, but as always, you know, subscribe to the Ross Dog channel, R-D-A-L-L-C. Uh, follow us on Twitter at Philip Radio. And uh, stay tuned, because uh, more stuff to come. Lewis is uh, not responding to us. I assume he, pro- he probably called Mersh, and Mersh was like, just ignore them. So Marsh is like jumping on every tweet that Lewis tweets about wanting to beat people up and shit. But uh, you know, you know, uh, we've we've been tweeting at him. Uh, we're not we're not shy about the fact that we're calling you out. Ian you know, Ellis actually has some stuff he wants to say to your face if you want to call him this Sunday, Lewis. Uh, I, I'm more than happy to just break this all down and explain it to your face. Uh, and call Nick Mullen. I want I want to talk to him too. Got some stuff to say to that dude too. And I like him. Uh, you know, Nick Mullen gives me a comedy boner. But uh, it, it, there's some stuff he needs to hear because he's stalling out. So, yeah. Uh, my voice sounds like Marsh than Ross Dog. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, more, than, more to come. Philip Wave is expanding. It's not just going to be making fun of Mo- Moish and R- Rosas uh, all the time. Uh, we're going to build a whole a whole world here. So hopefully you guys are down for that. Uh, if you're only here to make fun of Royce and Mersh, then uh, I apologize, guys. It's going to be gonna be expanding out just so, so it stays interesting for me. Uh, yeah, so here's Ian Ellis uh, dressed up as Hannah Gatsby. <laughs> yeah, dig! Nobody was more surprised than Hannah Gadsby herself when her swan song in stand-up comedy, the show Nanette, turned out to be a massive global sensation. My issue is that when good men talk about bad men, they always ignore the line in the sand. The line in the sand that is inevitably drawn whenever a good man talks about bad men. I am a good man, here is the line, there are all the bad men. The show is a meticulous dissection, equal parts funny and devastating, of Gadsby's life as a gay woman and comedian. She explains the way coming up with punchlines has forced her to downplay some very painful episodes in her life. We need to talk about how men will draw a different line for every different occasion. They have a line for the locker room, a line for when their wives, mothers, daughters, sisters are watching, another line for when they're drunk and fratting, another line for non-disclosure, a line for friends and a line for foes. In the show, Gadsby announced she was done with stand-up, tired of the cost of mining her personal life for laughs. She was lying. Good day. <laughs> I'm Hannah Gadsby. <laughs> You might know me from my Netflix special, Nanette! (laughs) 
I'm a lesbian. <laughs> I'd like to see Ellen DeGeneres twerk like that. Hey! <laughs> if you haven't seen my special, there's a few things you should know about me. One, I'm a pleasure to be around. <laughs> Lucky you. <laughs> no snickering. This is a comedy show. Not the place for jokes and laughter. Stop laughing. This is serious. <laughs> Other thing you need to know about me, Hannah Gatsby. I've been raped a lot. Like more times in the Fast and the Furious have gotten together to steal cars or whatever they do. Never really figured out what those movies were about. We're dealing with a Marvel Cinematic Universe of rapes. <laughs> and that's made me an expert on the fellas. I'm here to talk to you about the men. Some of you are thinking, Hannah, I would never rape you. Look at you, that would be disgusting. Seeing you naked, I'd vomit. And you think this makes you good men? I'll have you know I am a beautiful woman. You would be lucky to rape someone like me. Nine out of ten rapists agree I am a delight to be around. I've had some criticisms. They say, Hannah! Hannah! So they talk to me. Hannah! You're alienating allies. You're galvanizing incels into toxic groups like the Proud Boys. And I say, the thing about men is, they're all rapists. I have an exercise to prove it. Little bit I like to call, you might be a rapist. <laughs> Let's have a little audience participation. Sir, <laughs> have you ever said hi to a woman? Yeah. Look out ladies, he might be a rapist. <laughs> Sir, have you ever been in the same room as a woman? Yeah. <laughs> Only two people do they. Rapists and koala bears. <laughs> you don't look like a koala bear. <laughs> One more for funsies. <laughs> Sir, have you ever voted for Donald J. Trump? Definitely a rapist! <laughs> Look at him, he's fucking white! <laughs> Facts! Know your history! I'm Australian, I'm Aboriginal Lives Matter. So some of you may know that Kevin Hart is a bigot, and he will no longer be hosting the Oscars. Instead, it will be hosted by me, Hannah Gatsby! I'd like to practice my opening monologue before I get out of here. Pretend that you're Hollywood. Brad Pitt, George Clooney, whoever you fancy. I'm Hannah Gatsby. Let's start the Oscars. Hello, Hollywood. Cesspool of rapists and pedos. You are all culpable. The mental, spiritual, and physical destruction of women. And if you think I'm special, you should fucking kill yourself! Let's give it up for our first guest tonight, of our new single, Work Mark Pussy, Cardi B! <laughs> the only way to stop a bad man with a cock is a good man with a cock. <laughs> stop raping other men! So they know what it's like to be a woman! A beautiful woman like me! <laughs> <laughs> 